Hi all, Craig and Latte here. It's that time again where I bring you my tips, facts, or experience that you may or may not find helpful. Did you know that there are 10 different quest items you can turn in for an easy 90 Dark Moon Fair tickets? And these don't require you to do any fair dailies either. The best part is that all of these can be bought and sold on the auction house, so if you have the gold, you don't have to bother farming for these since many of these have their sources from dungeons or PvP, so if you're farming for them specifically, it could take a bit to get all 10 of them on your own. As a tip, I have all of these items favorited on the auction house so that I don't have to search for them manually each time I need to buy them because, well, their names are a little funky and, you know, it can be hard to look them up specifically if you don't remember. So the list of these items are the Fallen Adventurer's Journal, Banner of the Fallen, Captured Insignia, Imbued Crystal, Monstrous Egg, Monstrous Grimoire, Ornate Weapon, Soothsayer's Runes, A Treatise on Strategy, and Moonfang's Pelt. The last one in the list there is one item that might be a bit problematic if you're on a low pop server. Moonfang's Pelt is a drop from Moonfang, a Dark Moon Fair world boss type mob, so supply may be low on that one. Whether you're able to get the pelt or not, each of these items can be turned in once per Dark Moon Fair, so once a month, per character. And it's a great way to get a quick shot of tickets for minimal effort. There are tons of things to buy at the fair, including mug, mounts, pets, and even recipes, so this will help out a lot. Did you know there's a way to get an easy 100 Darkmoon Fair tickets once per character? While the ticket's currency is not account-wide and it is character-specific, a quick shot of 100 tickets on any alt can actually get you more than you think, especially if you have a lot of alts. First, let's take a peek at what you could buy with a mere 100 tickets. While the mounts are more expensive, it looks like you can actually buy quite a bit. Pets, toys, flavor items, and armor mostly seem to be available to you as they are all below that 100 amount. Awesome, right? Even better, getting these tickets is super easy. First, the Dark Moon Fair has to be active, <laughs> obviously, or you can't enter it. Check your calendar to see the next dates for it, but it's always during the week of the first Sunday of each month. Once it's here, you can go inside and head all the way down to the docks where the races are. There are a couple of vendors here who sell items that require the Dark Moon Dagger Maw fish as a currency. The faded treasure map item from the vendor Galissa Sundu is what we want here. To get the fish, you can either head right over to the water and start fishing for them if you know that profession, or you can just buy them on the auction house. <laughs> That's what I do. With your 100 Dark Moon Dagger Maw in hand, now buy the faded treasure map. This item will activate a quest once you pick it up, and it doesn't really tell you where to go other than with cryptic hints. It's totally a secret treasure type hunt quest. So if you want to do it on your own, you can. If you're like me though, and just want the tickets, here's the waypoints for you both on screen and in the description. And a quick visual run through of each spot so that you know exactly where they are if you need the help. Once that's completed, turn it in and get your 100 tickets. This is only available once per character. Even if you try to get it again next month, it won't be there. One time only. So this is where your alts can shine. Did you know I stream on Twitch now? I do everything from transmog to leveling to gold making, and I'm live five days a week to chat with. So come hang out. And there we have it. 
If you think I've missed information or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.